So, good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again with some unwanted news. This time it's Jorginho to Arsenal. Yay. Just the player we were looking to sign in this January window. Not. Uh, before we get into talking about this absolute farce of an inquiry, uh, make sure you are smashing the like buttons up. Make sure you share the content far and wide. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And if you would like to leave a donation in the, the comments section, feel free. Uh, just hit the thanks option. Type in whatever you want. Type in the value and bish bash bosh. Just like that, it is done. I will be back again at 8 a.m. The final day of the transfer window is upon us. And we have until 11 p.m. UK time to sign players. <sighs> Take a big breath. Uh, we are relying on Edu Gaspar. Yes, Edu Gaspar, uh, the man that spent two weeks um, in this transfer window and previously six months before that, tapping up Mudrik, trying to sign Mudrik. And um, that went well, didn't it? Uh, yeah, two weeks wasted there. We won't get into a bidding war, said David Ornstein, the club puppet. Yes, I'm a puppet. The club will tell me what to tweet and I will tweet it to millions of people. And uh, yeah, we won't get into a bidding war. Well, we did because he was 45 million in the summer. We didn't want to pay it. We stayed in contact with him and his agent. It then went up to 100 million and we didn't want to pay it. And we kept putting bids in that were more than 45 million to begin with. And then we got done at the death. We then diverted our attention to Moises Caicedo for the last two weeks of this window. In the meantime, we did sign Trossard, top signing. We signed Kivior. We don't know whether he's a top signing, but we shall see. Uh, he looks half tidy. And um, we then decided to go and test Brighton again for their midfielder. And they said, we're not selling him. He then comes out and says, OK, well, I'll put a statement out then. He puts the statement out saying that he wants to leave. He wants to go. He wants to go and sign for a bigger football club. He wants to obviously secure his family's future, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the stories of the first bid were out there. That got rejected, 60 million. The second bid went in two days ago, 70 mil, 65 mil, and then five add-ons rejected. So now, Edu had the light bulb moment. I know. Why don't we go and get Jorginho? Let's inquire. Hello, Mr. Bowley. It's Edu. I've got Edu on the phone. He ain't serious anyway. He never is. Oh, you want Jorginho? Yes, he's available. Idiot. Absolute idiot. If we sign Jorginho instead of Caicedo, I'm sorry, he needs to be potted. What has he done? Like, genuinely, to move this club forward. Yes, we signed Trossard. Fantastic. Great. We should have signed a player in that position in the summer. So he failed us in the summer. We needed a DM in the summer. He faffed around on deadline day in the summer, bidding for Douglas Louise. Good one. We obviously had the money because we went and done nearly 100 mil on Mudrick that we never got. We're bidding 70 mil for Caicedo, who we still haven't got. Brighton are saying they don't want to sell the player. OK, so why are they looking at the, his replacement then? Amadou Haidara at Leipzig. Why are they speaking to Leipzig about his replacement? Uh, because I think they do want to sell him, Edu. You're just no good at negotiating. Uh, neither is Richard Garlic. And uh, this Richard Garlic guy, by the way, uh, I think he gets a free pass because not many people know who he is. He is the director of uh, football operations at Arsenal. So what's he been doing? What's he been doing? Tim Lewis, the lawyer. What's he been doing? Looking at the ins and outs of where we can and can't go. The football direction operations manager. Yes. What about you, Garlic? Yeah, all of them free, including Vinay on top of that four. If they don't get an adequate defensive midfielder in by 11 p.m., then I'm sorry, that ain't good enough. That really, really, really isn't good enough. We are top of the table, five points clear with a game in hand. And we still need a defensive midfielder that we needed in the summer. What have they been doing? You have had all of this time from the last window closing to this window to speak to players, to speak to agents, to speak to other football clubs. Why is it always Arsenal penny pinching? This is the first time we have been in a title race for a long, long time. 
it might be the last as well. So surely, surely we should be going out there and doing our utmost to go and sign the players that will, are required to win us the title and get us over the line. We've seen also today, Manchester City have got rid of Cancelo on loan to Bayern Munich. They have just made their squad weaker by getting rid of one of their best players. And we're differing over potentially 5, 10, 15 million quid. Really? Big bad Arsenal, you know. One of Europe's elite, yeah? Smashed the stadium down for this, by the way. To Diver over signings. As for Edu, this guy, I'm sorry, but other than signing Portuguese speakers or players nobody else was in for, what does he actually do? Because the players that we've signed under him, well, most of them have been trash, and I could reel off 10 quite quickly. You know who they are. David Luiz, Runnison, Tavage, I could keep going. You know you know the route. William, Marie, Cedric, <laughs> Laconga, Fabio Vieira don't look a player either, by the way. Yeah, Marquinhos has now gone on loan. Should we keep going? Should we keep going? No? Okay, cool. Well, anyway, now let's look at the ones he has signed. Martin Odegaard, you're doing all right this season, mate. You're doing all right. Nobody wanted him. We were the only club in for him. Um, the goalkeeper, Aaron Ramsdale, nobody wanted him. We had a free hit at that one. Free hit, free hit, FC. Nobody wanted him. Jesus and Zinchenko didn't sign because of Edu. They signed because of Arteta. We've been signing players that nobody wanted other than us. Or they're Portuguese speakers. I'm sorry, this guy, oh, Thomas Party, my bad. You, you activated the release clause that we knew was the release clause for the whole summer. And you did it on deadline day, didn't you, mate? Well, let's hope you, Paul, sank out the bag. Yeah, on deadline day. Otherwise, you shouldn't be here much longer. Real talk. Yeah, it's embarrassing. We have been chasing after Caicedo. We put two bids in. And cool, if they don't want to sell him and they're adamant they're not selling him, go and get another player. Don't go and get Jorginho. 31-year-old Jorginho from Chelsea. I'm sorry, that's a disgrace. He's got six months left on his contract. Let's not also forget that this guy has messed up some very big, high-value deals. Dusan Vlajevic. Couldn't get him, no? No, you couldn't get him. Of course you didn't. You, you let him. Oh, but he wanted Juve. I'm quite sure if we gave him an extra 50 grand a week, he would have signed for us. Didn't get him. If we had bid an extra couple of million quid for him, we might have got him. Who knows? Uh, you also messed up the Mudrick deal. You're currently messing up the Caicedo deal. Uh, who else has there been? Oh, yeah, Jal Felix. Didn't want to pay 12 million quid for six months, but we're going to go and buy Jorginho for, what, five mil? Give him 100 grand a week for two years? Well, there's 15 mil. Am I missing saying here? It's not good enough. Yeah, this guy is a joke. I've been telling everyone for a long, long time, this guy is a joke. But people want to pick up the rug, sweep it under the rug. Don Edu, because he activated a release clause here and there. Well done, mate. Yeah, if we sign Jorginho, that is a sackable offence. 31 years old. All I've heard from our fans is, we only want to play players that come to Arsenal that want to play for Arsenal. You're telling me Jorginho's hopes and dreams were to play for Arsenal. Come on, turn it in. Let's not play dumb here. Let's not be stupid here. We want Caicedo. Go and pay the money. It is not rocket science. Everyone has a fee. Everyone has a price. You can buy these players. Don't listen to people telling you, oh, but it's January. It's hard to get players. Absolute rubbish. If we offered them one and a half billion quid, are you telling me they're still going to say no? I know that's being ridiculous. I'm using that as an example. If we went in there with 120 million and said, there you go, 120. You're telling me they're going to say no. So it comes down to fee and price. He ain't done his job properly. Neither has Garlic and that Tim Lewis. I don't know what he does either. Yeah, all of them, all three of them. Vinay as well for shocking. We're on the cusp of potentially winning a title for the first time in 19 years. And the state of these guys, what are they doing? Because I'll tell you saying, next season, Newcastle will be up there again. Man City will be up there again. Man United will be up there. Chelsea will be up there. So this could be the first and last opportunity to win a title for a very long time. And they're failing the manager and the fan base. Disgusting, disgraceful and not good enough. On that bombshell, I'm out of here. I'll be back at eight o'clock. Adios, amigos.